Welcome to an episode of Pal World. I'm going to show you how you can catch the bosses that you face in Pal World. And yeah, you can imagine that that's definitely not something you're supposed to be able to do. We're of course going to be using a glitch now. The great thing is these are extremely strong. They're also going to be extraordinarily unique because this is going to be 100% patched out eventually. Very soon, most likely. This is something you should absolutely not do. So once you catch these, you will have them and they will be extraordinarily unique and rare. And they are strong as well, so you can use them. Let's have a look at how this works. So welcome to my base, welcome to my power. Let's have a quick look at some of the comparisons between the glitched boss pals that you can catch and the actual legendaries that you can catch in the game. So here's a strong sort of late game area Pokemon, a uh, pal rather. And uh, looking at him, he's got 515 attack, 600 so defense, 3,500 HP. All right, so this is a pretty good pal to catch for your team. Now, compare that to, say, the legendary, which you can catch at the end of the game. This is the strongest legendary in the game. This has 11k HP. It's got 800 plus attack. It's got 600 plus defense. That's very, very good. This is the strongest Pokemon in the game, pal, or other. Now, looking at, say, the first boss that we can catch in the game, or rather fight in the game, this is Zoe and Grizzbolt. Yes, it is Zoe as Grizzbolt, and I know we can't see Zoe here, it's just Grizzbolt, but you can see the HP is 150,000 HP. That's ridiculous, that's ridiculous. Attack is only 475, 425, so uh, we can of course buff that with the levels uh, by merging more Grizzbolts. So actually sending out Zoe and Grizzbolt will look like this. Zoe is still here, it's not just a Grizzbolt you're catching, you're catching the full combo here, you're catching both of them. And of course they do everything just like normal pals. If you release them, they'll fight, they'll work on your base. And Zoe is still there on top. We also have uh, the other one, Axel and Orsok, which is a later area boss. And yeah, there he is. There's the buddy. And he's riding his guy too. These guys are strong. So I'm going to show you how to catch these guys right now. First step is go to the settlement, small settlement, which is down at the south of the game. It's somewhere you probably would have encountered early game. So I'm going to pick this one so you can do this easily enough. Fast travel there to the small settlement. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot the guard that we can see immediately. Or just hit him. You can just do anything as long as you become wanted. Then we can fast travel to whatever boss we want to do. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do a boss I have not done yet. Actually, I have done this one, but I haven't caught it yet. So we're going to go ahead and do this, this boss. This will be my third one to catch. All right, so this is good stuff. Let's go over here. And let's go straight for the tower, wherever that is. There it is. Let's go straight for that tower and enter the boss room. <laughs> All right, so once you're ready to go ahead and join the boss, now you're gonna still be wanted and the guys who are chasing you are all following you all the way through here and they're gonna follow you into the boss room too. You can escape and space spar this. Now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get this this pal shot by one of the guards who would have followed us in, which was there. But we want to make sure that the pal gets kind of triggered in a sort of glitch where it starts walking over to the corner by itself. And you'll see it, it's very, very clear. So let's just get it shot first. You'll see its health bar, there it is, it's shot. And there it goes, there it goes. So as soon as it triggers that and it goes off by itself into the corner, you can throw a pal ball at it and it will be able to be caught. If it doesn't do that, you're not gonna be able to catch it, but it's uh, also 100% catch rate, so it doesn't matter what ball you use. And we caught Lily and Liline. Once you've done that, guys, all you have to do is hit respawn or you can return to title if you have the settings which make you lose your items. If you do not have the settings that make you lose your items, respawn is faster. So you can, of course, reload the game either way and uh, just end up right outside the tower. So let's go back to base here. So that's another one done. It's actually that easy. And as exactly as explained it, folks, you want to get it to trigger after being shot without you shooting it. Do not attack the boss yourself. You want it to be shot at by the guards until it triggers going into the corner like that. Uh, let's have a look at Lily and Liline now. <laughs> let's bring that out. Pop. And there she is. There she is. It was that easy, folks. This is a nutty, this is a nutty, nutty glitch. Nutty glitch. And this is going to be patched, so if you do manage to catch your bosses like this, you're going to have them. You're going to keep them. And it's going to be extremely unique to use them, especially in PvP when they add that into the game. So I highly recommend you catch all five bosses ASAP. Thanks for watching. That's all there is to it anyway. I might cover some more Power World stuff. I'm kind of looking forward to the when they add do, do add other things like PvP and whatnot. And uh, I will be covering things that are vital for you to know so you can get your head in the game, get your foot in the door, so to speak, with all these really cool things that you can do in Pal World that you're obviously not supposed to. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you around in the next. Have a good one. Bye.